Hi, Brandon and Vanessa Leon here with your quarterly market update for Roseville, California. 2024. 24. Oh, we were supposed to do that at the same time? No, but you just no. okay. want to do it all the time. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. So right now, currently for sale, we have 304 houses uh, active on the market. That's the most since October 2022. So we're seeing this uptick of houses and kind of coupled with that, we have the months of inventory that we're at 1.9 months of inventory, meaning how long would it take for us to run out of houses if we didn't list anymore, selling the average amount we sell each month? Well, we, it would 1.9 months, we'd be completely out of houses. That's a pretty large hike. Well, right? I mean, speaking three months ago, we were at 1.3. And so you're thinking, oh, we're gonna run out of houses in a month, <laughs> like a little over a month. Well, now mm -hmm. we're almost almost double that. So now it seems like the, the market's flooded. Yeah, but and it's really not. You're seeing things on the news. You're hearing different things that people are saying. And realistically, the price per square foot has stayed the same from last month, $326 per square foot. You have houses selling for 99% of what they're listed for. That's also pretty pretty normal, pretty standard. Uh, and then you have a jump in, in the uh, days on market. So how many days does it take for a house to go from active to pending? Uh, it's only gone up six days in the past three months. So from 24 to 28 to 30. Uh, that's Same still an extra week. Right? That's an Yeah, that's still within just... the standard. I yeah. mean, if you think about it in March, we were at 43 days on market. So uh, that's not any cause for alarm. We did have a jump in the sold price about 34,000 from 675 to 709,000. But that could be due to a lot of different factors, the larger houses selling and not as many smaller houses selling and the smaller sample size of houses selling, that price could jump up. So I think I think there's this alarm going out that people are like, man, like, oh, with the election and with all of this, like, what are some of the factors of why we have more houses than normal this time of year? Well, I think just the economic environment, what it is right now, what dealing with hearing about crashes in Japan and, mm -hmm. you know, America, what's going to happen with our uh, market and, you know, the economic system. There's a lot of fear surrounding that right now. And so I think people are a little bit more hesitant when they're looking at, okay, are these interest rates going to drop anymore? Should we be making big investments like this right now? Should we wait it out? I think there's just a lot of uncertainty in the air. Uncertainty is the word. Uh, and I'm having a lot of conversations with people that are asking, should I wait? Should I do this? Should I do that? And the way that I look at it is interest rates have gone down. But just imagine, let's say they're six and a quarter, which they're somewhere in between six and a quarter and six and a half, depending on when you watch this video, most likely. But let's just say they go sub six, interest rates go under 6%. Are you making a move? Like, are you making a decision to do something? Well, most people would be, right, when they see something like that. So if you're doing that, then that means everyone else is doing that. And then you're going to be competing with more people. And then you're going to be paying a higher price for homes. Now, one might argue, OK, well, if I'm going to sell and buy, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait to sell. So I'll sell for a higher amount. But you'll still be buying for a higher amount and you'll be competing with more people. So uh, the if you look at I don't want to get too deep into it, but if, if you look at the Fed futures, if you look at the amount of money that's being moved around in our economical system that the the pros are saying that we are uh, going to see a, a drop two cuts in interest rates. Uh, so when the Fed meets in the September and then in November, we're going to see two drops in interest rates and we're probably going to go sub 6%. So if that were to happen, my question for you, put in the comments, is that something that would you make a move if you saw, you know, 5.875 interest rate? Is that something that would entice you to make a move? We're totally curious because we're having these conversations every single day. So feel free to comment below and we hope this information is valuable for you and we'll see you next time. So if you're waiting for those prices to drop in order to sell your home to buy another home, we have something super special for you. It's part of our house to home blueprint, our signature system, and it is our home sellers checklist. The Home Sellers Checklist is going to help you prepare your house for sale to know exactly how to start preparing and to set yourself up for success to make the most amount of money possible and not be chasing the market when, when the interest rates go down and everybody is gonna be wanting to make a move. So get ahead of the competition today and download our Home Sellers Checklist now.